And as always, you might just hear a, a bell during the beginning part of class. People are coming in late. If that happens, just stay in your flow. Uh, today's class is based around twisting. It's the 30th of April. It's the last day of the month. I thought it might be nice to kind of ring out <laughs> a little bit of the month. So let's go ahead and find a comfortable seat on our mats. All right, so as always, find the seat that works well in your body, remembering that you have lots of options. So if sitting with your legs folded is comfortable, you can do that. One leg up, both, whatever works. The most important thing, come to a place where you can just be still for a few moments and begin to cultivate some nice, deep belly breaths. You can allow your eyes to close or to come to a half gaze. And as you breathe, simply begin to slow down into this space. Now, as we breathe, let's begin to add a little bit of movement. So on your next inhale, roll your spine out nice and long, sit tall on the mat and exhale to soften, to melt a little bit. Inhaling, lengthening, expanding, sitting tall and exhaling, just relaxing, allowing the spine to soften. On your next inhale, let's add some arms, sweep your fingertips all the way up to the sky and exhale. Let's turn to the right. Let one hand fall in front of you and one behind. They can find your lap or completely touch down. And then inhale back to center. Exhale, turning over to the left. Inhale to center and over to the right. Inhaling to center and over to the left. And let's just follow this breath pattern, this opening and then gentle twist for a few more breaths. Now, as you breathe, as you move, begin to let some intuition come in. So if it would feel good to change this movement, to move into a more intuitive movement space, feel free to do so. Maybe you sustain in one particular spot. Maybe you add on completely, whatever feels good. And then gently begin to make your way all the way back to your seated position. Bring your hands to heart center and close your eyes. So today we wrap up one month. Uh, today is also Alpurgisnacht or May Eve, which means we are stepping into the fullness of springtime. So there are so many possibilities for intentions today. We could be releasing the old month. We could be welcoming in some life and hope and light. Just take a moment to think about what you most need from your practice right now. And then once you have whatever that idea is, you set it as your intention for your practice today. And then once that intention is set, simply release your hands down to the mat. We're going to sweep our feet around behind us. Make your way into tabletop. As always, wrists come beneath the shoulders, knees are under the hips, and let's start by moving our spines through cat-cow. So on your inhale, roll your heart open and tip your tailbone to the sky. Then exhale, coil your belly in and drop crown of your head. 
Inhale, rolling open. And exhale, coiling it in. So if cat cow feels amazing, if this is really helping create space and release tension in your back, you stay right here. You're also welcome to find some freeform movement here. So if it would feel good to draw some circles with your hips or your rib cage, to maybe shift from side to side or forward and back, whatever variation on movement feels best, go ahead and explore that. And then find your way into stillness, coming to a neutral spine and tabletop. Draw your knees a little bit closer together so that they're centered under your body. That way we can stay on balance. On your inhale, extend your right leg long behind you and lower your toe down to the mat. Let's begin to find a calf stretch here by pressing into that right heel and just getting a nice deep stretch along the back of the leg. Remember that you can always come out of that stretch a little bit if this feels like too much right now. And uh, it is possible to overstretch, so we always want to listen carefully to our bodies. And then lower your right knee down to meet your left. On your inhale, extend your left leg long behind you, lower the toe. Let's feel that on the left side. Press into your left heel, just breathing into your calf stretch. Girls, leave each other alone. Sorry, the cats have elected to get into a wrestling match just below my laptop. <laughs> and then lower that left knee down. So we're gonna meet in forward fold and there are a couple ways to get there. Of course, you can walk your hands back to stand or step your feet forward, whatever feels better. Once you've found your forward fold, of course, let's just release. Try to relax your head and your neck. Let this one be kind of sloppy, right? We're just gonna pour over the legs. Relax your shoulders, move your jaw a little bit if you're a jaw clencher like me. Rock from side to side. And then come to stillness at the center. Bend your knees, exhale, roll your way all the way up to standing. Inhale, rise and open. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Release your hands down by your side. And if you're not already there, make your way toward the top of your mat so we can set up our first mountain pose of class today. And remember, this first mountain pose, when we step into the space of sun salutation, it's deliberate, right? It's very conscious. So we consciously root the feet. We consciously draw energy up into our bodies, feeling our bodies quicken. Our quads become strong. We feel our core drawing in, tailbone reaching long, and then roll your shoulders back and down. Stand tall, stand proud on your mat. On your next inhale, sweep your fingertips to the sky. Exhale, fold all the way forward, bend your knees. Fingertips come down to a set of blocks or onto the mat. On your inhale, step your right foot back to lunge and lower your right knee down. So we always wanna take a moment to set up that strong and safe lunge, making sure the left knee is directly over the ankle. If you're using blocks, we just align them on that left shin. Same thing if you're using your fingertips. Inhale to look forward and exhale, shift back, beginning to stretch out that left leg. Inhale forward to lunge, right hip melts toward the mat. And exhale, shift back. And it's okay if your left toes start to come off the earth a little bit here too. Let your next inhale bring you forward to lunge. 
Now from here, we come back to tabletop. So knees beneath the hips, wrists beneath the shoulders, and let's find spinal movement again. So yogi's choice, you can move through cat cow here, or you can find free form spinal movement. Whatever helps you release tension in your body. Come to your neutral spine and walk your hands. One hand span forward. Shift your shoulders over your wrists. We're going to make our way into half plank. Now in half plank, remember knees, hips, and shoulders are in one long line. Draw your navel in so your tailbone is reaching long so we still feel that nice strong plank energy through the core. Press into the earth, create plenty of buoyancy in your shoulders, and then bend your elbows and begin to slowly float your way down to the mat. Once you've touched down, walk your toes back, create space. Fingertips are wide. Roll one shoulder and then the other, creating space and movement. And then return your hands to beneath your shoulders. Press back to tabletop, or if you have a downward dog in your practice and you would like to feel it, you can join me here. Wherever you happen to have landed, find movement. So if you're in tabletop, that's cat cow or freeform spinal movement. If you're in down dog with me, just walk out your dog. Bend one knee and then the other. And then find your way into stillness. Inhale to look forward, exhale to step your right foot forward between your hands, lower that left knee down to the mat. So we'll set up our safe lunge again on the right side, making sure that right knee is directly over the right ankle. Grab your blocks if you were using them or just plant your fingertips on either side of your right shin. Inhale to look forward and exhale shift back so same thing stretching out the back of the right leg your right toes might rise a little bit inhale forward to lunge melt your left hip toward the mat and exhale inhaling forward Inhale forward to lunge, turn your left toes under to lift your back knee. Look forward and step together and fold, soften. Rock from side to side. And then come to stillness at the center, bend your knees, exhale, roll your way all the way up to standing. Inhale, rise and open. Exhale, hands to heart center. Check in with your mountain pose. If it moves, no big deal, but just root your feet once more. Engage your core, feel tall. Shoulders are rolled back and down, shining that heart center. On your inhale, sweep your fingertips to the sky. Exhale to fold forward. This time, inhale, halfway rise. Hands come to the shins or to the thighs. Roll your shoulders back and down. Create a nice flat back here, right? So we really want to feel that right angle, that 90 degrees between our torso and our legs. Soften on your exhale. Inhale, halfway rise. Again, lengthening, letting the collarbones be broad, feeling a nice deep stretch in the backs of the legs. Exhale. Last time, halfway rise. And exhale, bend your knees, plant your fingertips. Inhale to step your left foot back to lunge and lower that left knee down. Again, grab your blocks if you're using them to frame the right foot. On your inhale, look forward. Exhale, shift back, this time right toes rise. Get yourself a slightly deeper stretch here. Inhale forward to lunge. And exhale, shifting back, right toes rising. Inhaling forward, melting that left hip. 
Now remember, in this flow, you can also walk your hands back a little bit if that helps you get a deeper stretch. That's totally okay. Let your next inhale bring you all the way forward to lunge. Table top, knees come beneath the hips, wrists come under the shoulders, and then let's walk those hands forward. Shift your shoulders over your wrists, find your half plank. Yogi's choice right here. You can stay in half plank, or if you would like to turn up the heat a little bit, turn your toes under to lift your knees. Same adjustments, right? We draw the navel in, so we feel a nice strong core. We press the earth away, shoulders are buoyant. On your exhale, bend your elbows, float your way down to the mat. Once you touch down, walk your toes back, create space by bringing your fingertips off the mat. Creative cobra, roll one shoulder and then the other, freeing your spine. I have a fresh tattoo on the back of my neck and in my upper back, this feels extremely weird today. I just want you all to know that. <laughs> Return your hands to beneath your shoulders, press it back, tabletop or downward facing dog. Come to stillness wherever you happen to have landed. Inhale to look forward, exhale to step your left foot forward between your hands, lower your right knee all the way down to the mat. And let's set up that safe lunge again, right? So we just wanna make sure that left knee is aligned over the left ankle. Grab your blocks if you're using them. Inhale to look forward, exhale, shift back. So that left leg stretches out. This time, let's let those left toes rise. Inhale forward to lunge. And exhale, shifting back. And again, just that little note, remember you can walk your hands back and forth here. If that helps you stretch out the back of that left leg a little bit more, it definitely helps in my body. Let your next inhale bring you forward to lunge. Turn your right toes under, lift your back knee. Inhale to look forward and exhale, step together. Soften, fold over your legs. Remember, relax your head and your neck. Find a little movement, a little ease. That would feel good. Remember, you can always move your jaw here. You can relax your brow. And then come to stillness at the center. Bend your knees, exhale, roll your way all the way up to standing. Inhale, rise and open. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Check in with your Tadasana, with your mountain pose. Readjust anything that needs to change. On your inhale, sweep your fingertips to the sky. Now, slight change here, we're gonna bring our hands to our hips. On your next exhale, bend your knees, begin to sink your hips back toward your heels. So we're moving toward fierce pose. Now, as always in fierce pose, we wanna be really careful of our bellies and our backs. So I'd like you to tip your tailbone all the way out and then curl it all the way under and then find about halfway where your core is engaged and your tailbone is nice and strong. Good. Let's do a little pulse, inhale to stand. Exhaling, feeling that again, fierce pose, being aware of your core. Inhale to stand. And exhale. On this next exhale, we're gonna fold all the way forward, releasing our hands down to the mat. Plant your fingertips either onto the mat or onto your blocks. Inhale to step your right foot back to lunge. We're gonna lower that right knee down. All right, so let's start adding in a little bit of twisting. Plant your right hand at the center of the mat. That can be flat to the mat or you can grab a block and place your hand on the block. On your inhale, peel your left arm open. Exhale, begin to thread that left arm underneath the left knee. Inhaling, peeling open, turning your heart toward the sky. 
and exhale. On your next exhale, both hands are gonna come down to the mat. Set the block to the side, find your tabletop. Walk your hands forward and shift your shoulders over your wrists. Now, I want you to really ground your hands, root your shoulders and feel your core nice and strong. We're gonna do a little bit of side sort of side work here in terms of introducing twisting and core work at the same time. So what I'd like you to do is shift your weight into your right hand. Peel that left arm open and then dive it underneath. Inhaling and exhale. Now, as you come underneath with that left hand, squeeze through your side waist. And back to center, lower that left hand down. Shift your shoulders forward, finding your nice safe half plank. Bend your elbows and float down to the mat. Walk your toes back. Fingertips are wide, roll it out. Return your hands to beneath your shoulders, press back. Tabletop or downward facing dog, yogi's choice. Inhale to look forward. Exhale to step your right foot forward between your hands and then lower your left knee down. So again, make sure your right knee is directly over your right ankle. Multi-step movements are fine. Plant your left hand at the center of the mat. And again, that can be flat to the mat. It can also be on a block. On your inhale, peel your right arm open. Exhale, thread that right hand underneath the right knee. Inhaling, opening, and exhale. And then space your hands evenly. Turn your left toes under to lift that back knee. Look forward, step together, and fold, soften. Now, while we're down here, if you're using blocks, let's go ahead and position one at the top of the mat for the next salutation. Then bend your knees, exhale, roll your way up. Inhale, rise and open. Exhale, hands to heart center. Check in with your mountain pose. Readjust anything that needs to change. Last time through, on your inhale, rise and open. Exhale to fold. Now this time we're gonna fold forward and find that block. And if you're not using a block, your hands just come down to the mat. Maybe you bend your knees to make that happen a little bit. This time we're gonna walk that block over to the left side. Now, once you get here, press your right hip away and let your heart reach over that block. And again, if you're not using blocks, maybe you're on your fingertips. Come back through center. Let's feel that on that right side, coming over, letting the heart reach across the block, pressing the left hip away, getting a nice deep stretch, little twisting action here. And then come back to center, bend your knees, fingertips come down to the mat. Inhale to step your left foot back to lunge, lower that left knee down. Perfect, so we plant the left hand at the center of the mat. Again, yogi's choice, flat to the mat or maybe on a block. Inhale, peel your right arm open. This time we find shoulder mandalas, full range of motion. Sweep that right hand around in a full circle. On your inhale, remember to turn your heart toward the sky as you come up to the top of that circle. So we're still feeling that beautiful twisting action. Remember to hug your legs toward each other. 
It's called hugging the midline, which sounds vaguely like something out of football, but is in fact yoga, at least in this instance. And on your next exhale, both hands come down. Let's space them evenly. Finding our tabletop, we're gonna walk our hands forward, shifting shoulders over the wrists. We're gonna do that little threading exercise. Of course, this time it'll be on the left side. So root strongly into that left hand, creating plenty of strength in the shoulders. Inhale, peel your right arm open. Exhale, dive it underneath, threading beneath the armpit. Inhaling up and exhale. And remember, as you come under, you're gonna squeeze through your side waist, really engaging those obliques. And on your next exhale, both hands come down. Good job. Find your half plank once more, strong belly, bend your elbows and float your way down. And just because that's tough on the shoulders, we're gonna keep going with Creative Cobra. Bring your fingertips wide, roll it out. Remember, you can turn your head from side to side here as well. And since we're starting to be more warmed up, if it would feel good to come up off the mat a little bit, you're welcome to do so. Return your hands to beneath your shoulders and press back. Find your way, tabletop or downward facing dog. On your inhale, look forward. Exhale to step your left foot forward between your hands and lower your right knee all the way down to the mat. So let's set up that nice open twist. We're gonna root the right hand either to the mat or to a block at the center of the mat. Inhale to peel your left arm open. This time, shoulder mandalas sweep all the way around in a big circle. On your inhale, remember, turn your heart toward the sky, exhaling down. On this next exhale, both hands come down to the mat. Turn your right toes under to lift your back knee. Look forward and step together and fold. Surrender. Let's take a full lunar pause right here. Remember, relax your head and your neck. Try to let the crown of your head dangle toward the earth. Relax your jaw. If movement would feel good, you can introduce some gentle movement. You can roll your shoulders, you can sway, you can wiggle your fingers. Kind of releasing the last of April into the earth. And then come to stillness at the center. Bend your knees, exhale, roll your way up. Inhale, rise and open. Exhale, hands to heart center. Come back to your intention in this moment. And then from here, we're simply going to make our way all the way down to the mat for core cultivation. And we're going to start all the way down on our backs today. So let's roll down onto the earth. Draw your knees in on your way there. And let's begin just by rocking from side to side. And a little self-massage. One other thing that can feel nice here are drawing big circles with your knees. That can feel lovely. Whatever helps, whatever feels better. And then come to stillness at the center. Let's begin with yoga scissors. Relax your arms all the way down to the mat, palms face down, and then press your heels to the sky. Now we're going for straight-ish legs. So keep pressing through your heels. That helps get a nice stretch to the backs of the legs while we're also working our core. On your exhale, lower your right heel down. Inhale to center. And exhale, lower that left heel down. 
And remember, the lower that heel goes, the more challenging this is for your core. So you can choose the level at which you would like to work today. You can really tailor this in terms of what is available to your body in this moment. come back to center draw your knees in rock from side to side let's take a break real quick coming back to stillness we're going to set that one up again relax your palms down to the mat press your heels to the sky Exhale to lower your right heel down. This time, reach your right arm across your body. Your right shoulder will most likely come up off the mat, so we're adding a twist right here. Inhale to center. Exhale, left heel lowers, left arm reaches. Inhale to center, and exhale. And if you get a little lost, remember, whichever heel is down, that's the arm that's reaching across. And then try to wrap it up on the left side. Come back to center. Draw everything in. Now this time, make sure you also turn your head from side to side. When we do movements that pull our shoulders up off the mat, neck tension is a thing that frequently happens. This gentle rocking motion of the head back and forth can help release that. Come to center and rock your way forward to seated. We're going to do one last core cultivator and we're going to do it from the base for boat pose. So I'd like you to set up a strong V seat. So we want our feet planted. We want a nice deep bend in the knees and we want to be sitting forward on our sits bones so that our back can be nice and straight. So if you're rounded here, scoot your hips back a little further until you can feel that nice straight flat back. All right, so from here, we're going to take a little kayaking adventure. I'd like you to find yourself a paddle. <laughs> on your exhale, dive your paddle in on your right side, and as you rock back, squeeze through your side waist. Inhale to center, exhale, diving that paddle in on the left side. Inhale, and right. So as we paddle here, as we make our way down the monocacy, just remember to keep squeezing through your side waist. So we're going to wrap up on the left hand side and then find our way to center, releasing that paddle will fall over our legs and just rock from side to side and let it go. Come to stillness. From here, we're going to make our way to standing. So as we get up, I'm going to adjust my camera real quick. And we are going to find mountain pose on the mat once more. Now, for this mountain pose, we're going to begin working with fierce pose and then building in some twists to that. So you might find that your mountain pose is a little bit closer together than usual. When I know I'm moving toward fierce pose, my favorite thing to do with my feet is have my big toes touching, but my heels be separate. And that feels decent in my body. It's also normal to need a little bit more space. So maybe your toes are a little more toward each other, but there's still like a chunk of space between them. Again, whatever really helps you feel stable. 
So remembering what we did in our sun salutations, begin by bringing your hands to your hips. Engage your belly first, and then on your exhale, scoot your hips back so that they're reaching toward the heels and we feel the weight shift, inhaling up and exhaling, sinking back. Now, once you have this movement with your core strong the whole time, we're gonna to begin to add a little bit of twist. So on your inhale, sweep your fingertips to the sky. This time on your exhale, as you sink your hips back, we're going to bring the hands over to the left-hand side. Inhale to center and exhaling over to the right. Inhale and over to the left. Now, remember as you work here, we wanna keep those hips moving toward the heels. The lower the hips go, of course, the more challenging this is for our lower body. And then on this next exhale, we're going to sustain on that left side and you have choices. So you can stay right here with the elbows floating, just turning to the side, sinking the hips. You're also welcome to bring your right hand to your left knee and reach that left arm long. One other option for people who do have some mobility in the spine, you can bring your right elbow to your left knee, palm into palm, and find that twist. All of these things accomplish basically the same thing. There isn't a right or wrong here. There's just what fits today. And then wherever you happen to be, release, forward fold, relax, breathe. Find movement if it would feel good or just pour over your legs. And then let's come to stillness at the center, bend your knees, roll your way all the way back up, inhale, rise and open. Exhale, hands to heart center, and let's find that same sequence again. So remember, core gets strong first, right? We lengthen that tailbone. On your exhale, scoot your hips toward your heels. Inhale. And exhale. Okay, let's find the arms on your inhale. Sweep your fingertips to the sky. This time, exhale, twist off to the right side. Inhale to center and exhale over to the left. So we're just going to follow this little twisting pattern. Remembering that we keep our core strong here. We keep the tailbone nice and long, moving with control rather than momentum. On your next pass over on the right side, we're going to sustain. So again, lots of options here. You can stay with your elbows floating. You can bring your left hand to your right knee and reach your right arm away. You are also welcome, of course, if it's open to you, to bring your left elbow to the right knee, palm into palm, finding that twist. Now, if you have found this position, <laughs> Take a moment to readjust your knees. It's really normal to have one start cheating its way forward. And release. Surrender into your forward fold. Relax, breathe. And then bend your knees, exhale, roll your way up. Inhale, rise and open. Exhale, hands to heart center. And release your hands down. So let's find a nice wide stance on the mat now. And we'll let our feet be parallel so they're facing the same direction. Bring your hands out to about waist level and imagine that you're standing in a river. It's a bit of a theme here, right? Kayaks, rivers, water. <laughs> Trail your fingers in that water. 
And from here, we'll begin to move into the water salutation, the water namaskar, which is lovely for twisting and also just for connecting the different areas of the body into one movement. So from here, we're gonna bring our hands all the way over to the left, all the way to the right, all the way to the left. Inhale up and over. Right, left, inhale up and over, left, right, inhale up and over. And now we can begin to add on, either staying just with the arm pattern or maybe add the bending of the knee on that side. So we come over to the right, bending the knee, over to the left, bend the knee, inhaling, straightening up and over and feeling this beautiful, watery, twisting salutation. And maybe in this space, you think about what you're letting go of from this past month, or what you're dancing in for the next one. gently allow those movements to become a little smaller. So we just make our way back to stillness at the center slowly. The movement's becoming less until we're standing and our fingertips are just trailing in that river. Beautiful. Come to stillness. Let's turn that right foot to face the short side of the mat. We're gonna leave that left foot dialed out to the side and bend that right knee. So we're moving toward our warrior two position here. Open your heart and your hips toward the broad side of the mat and radiate your arms out. Flip your right hand to face the sky, inhaling up and back. Exhaling, right hand or right elbow to the right knee, left arm reaches long. Inhaling up and back. And just enjoying our dancing warrior here. Again, feeling that beautiful full body connection, feeling the side waist opening. And on this next exhale, we're going to sustain. So that right elbow grounds into the right knee or maybe the right hand. We sweep that left arm open and we're gonna find those same arm circles from the beginning of class. So we're gonna sweep that left arm down and around, inhaling, opening, turning to the sky and exhaling down and around. And then finding our way back. We come all the way back up to standing. Strong belly muscles draw us up. Relax your arms down and straighten that right knee. Good job, let's switch it out. So we're gonna turn those right toes to be parallel with the left and then turn the left toes to face the short side of the mat. Bend your left knee, open your body toward the broad side of the mat and let's find those beautiful radiating arms. Flip your left hand. Inhale up and back, dancing warrior first. Again, your preferred variation, elbow or hand to knee, whichever feels better. All right, so this next time through, we are going to sustain. So we're gonna bring that left hand or that left elbow down to the left knee, reach the right arm long, and then find arm circles, shoulder circles. So we're gonna sweep around, inhaling up to the top, turning the heart toward the sky, exhaling, lowering down.
and coming back to our starting point. We're going to exhale, find our way back up and relax the arms down. Bring your feet to be parallel. Now from here, you might want to grab a block and place it at the top of your mat if you're using it. We're not at the top of the mat, at the center of the mat. Unfortunately, the top is basically wherever we are pausing. <laughs> so from here with that nice wide stance, inhale, sweep your hands to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Find that block or just find the earth. On your next inhale, we're gonna peel that right arm open, reaching to the sky, nice deep twist. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, the left arm peels open. And exhale down. Just following this little movement pattern. And remembering you can begin to add on. So if extending that left arm feels good, maybe you tuck it behind you and press into your right hand to feel even more of a twist. And then we switch it out. Left hand rooting down, right hand reaching up again. If it's open to you, maybe we tuck that hand, press into the left arm, turning that right arm toward the sky. And back to center one more time, each side. and then simply come to center and surrender. Nice wide-legged forward fold here. Root your weight into your heels. Feel that deep stretch along the backside of your body. Tip your tailbone toward the sky just a little more to deepen that to feel a more intense stretch here. Simply bend your knees, roll your way all the way up to standing. From here, we're going to make our way down to the mat. So you can take a seat and come down to the earth, however works best in your body. All right, once you've found your way down, draw your left heel in, extend your right leg long. And we'll start with just a regular single-legged forward fold. On your inhale, create plenty of length. Exhale, fold forward. Remember, wherever your hands land is fine. So shin, thigh, foot, wherever they land is great. Inhale to create length. Excuse me, to create length. Exhale, soften. So from here, we're going to add just a little bit of a twist since we're still working that theme. Take your right hand to the inside of your right leg. Now that left hand is going to ground it somewhere. So it might be the thigh or the shin or maybe the foot. Wherever it's grounded, we're going to act like we're going to peek underneath the left arm. And you'll feel a nice twist and a bit of a stretch in your lower back. Remember, go gently, right? If this is too much, just dial it back a little. Come back to center. We're going to roll our way up to seated and let's feel that on the other side. So we're going to draw that right heel in and extend the left leg long. And again, single legged forward fold first. So turn your heart toward your left foot, create plenty of length, and exhale, fold forward. Again, wherever your hands land is fine. So thigh, shin, foot, it's all good. Create length on your inhale. Exhale to soften into the space you've created. All right, so let's start adding that twist in. We're gonna take that left hand and bring it to the inside of the left leg. And it's just gonna fall open right there. That right hand will ground somewhere. So again, maybe the shin, maybe the thigh, maybe the toe, wherever your hand has landed, begin to peek underneath your right arm. Again, feeling that nice deep stretch in the back, going gently here, because again, stretching can be overdone. This is one of those ones that can sometimes feel good while it's happening and not so great afterwards. So go gentle. And 
and release. Come back to center, roll your way up. And let's just take that left foot and place it out in front of us for our seated twist. So remember, you always have choices here. You can leave that left foot where it is. You can also bring it over the right knee. If you've chosen this position, you want to make sure you're not floating on either side. So like you can see where my, my left uh, sort of hip is coming off the mat. We don't want that, right? We want a nice flat surface, very rooted. Sweep your left hand down and behind, root your hand into the earth. Shoulder rolls back and down, pressing into the hand, get nice and tall. Reach your right hand to the sky. On your exhale, draw your knee and elbow together. Maybe it's the hand to the, to the knee rather than the elbow. And then begin to turn your heart toward the back of the room. and release. Sweep your hands over to the right, plant your fingertips and bow your head. And then coming back to center, let's feel that on the other side. So we draw the left heel in and plant the right foot out in front. And again, we choose our starting position. So we stay right here or we bring that right foot to the outside of the left knee, provided we are able to be fully rooted. Feet are touching down, hips are touching down. Sweep your right hand down to the mat, plant that hand, roll your shoulder back and down as you press into your palm. On your inhale, reach your right hand, sorry, your left hand to the sky, exhaling, turning to the right, elbow to knee or palm to knee. Begin to turn your heart toward the back of the room and remember your yoga breathing, right? Every inhale, we find length, every exhale, we soften into the space that we have created. and release. Sweep your hands over to the left, bow your head. And come all the way back up to seated. So from here, we're going to roll all the way down onto our backs, draw your knees into your chest, rock from side to side. Again, a little self-massage here can be lovely, either that rocking motion or maybe big circles with the knees, whatever feels better in your body right now. And come back to center. If there are any additional movements, if there's anything at all you would like to feel before we close our practice for today, take a moment right here to honor that request. So maybe it's a hip opener, maybe a little time at happy baby, a fold, even another twist, whatever would feel really good. That's what goes right here. And then as you are ready, begin to make your way into your Shavasana. Remembering, of course, that there are so many options for that, right? So we've got classical Shavasana, lie flat on your back, shoulders are relaxed, palms face the sky, heels are wide, toes falling out to either side. Now, if your body is like mine and your lower back pulls off the mat here and it's a little uncomfortable, just bend your knees and plant your feet. Let your knees fall together at the center and just let your body hold you. 
You, of course, are also welcome to take supine goddess pose here with the um, soles of the feet touching, knees falling out to either side. You can take child's pose. And of course, seated meditation is always an option. So find the right position for your body for Shavasana. And once you have found that place, simply allow your body to soften. Try to relax all of the points where it is in contact with the mat or with the earth. Relax your jaw. Relax your eyes and your forehead. And simply let go and float. Allow your breath to create space within your body. Begin to find some little movements of your fingertips and your toes, just bringing you back to this day, to this time. Point your toes away and reach your arms up overhead. Take a nice deep breath in, full body stretch. Then exhale to draw your knees into your chest. Rock from side to side. Find your way all the way over onto your right side and just curl into the posture of the sleeping child. So no tension, just let the earth hold you. Take a moment right here in this space that you have created to let go of the month of April and welcome in the month of May. And whenever you are ready, use your hands to help press yourself up to a nice, easy seated position. Bring your hands to heart center and close your eyes. We're going to close our practice today with a round of Om Shanti Shanti Shanti, a prayer for peace. Inhale. Om Shanti. Shanti, Shanti.
thank you so much for sharing your practice with me this morning. Namaste. Thank you so much, everyone. Let me come up and stop the recording.